Hey guys, JJ here with another quick video. Uh, so on the last video we talked about uh, covering the controls, and yeah, I mentioned uh, that my thumb is also operating uh, today's topic, and that is the high beam. And I think it's common knowledge now that uh, motorcycles do not have a headlight off switch anymore, and uh, that's because motorcycles are required to keep the headlights on in most all of the countries around the world because that grants us as motorcycles to be more visible uh, to other vehicles because in most countries uh, motorcycles are still a secondary form of transportation and yeah people are more attuned to seeing cars and they just don't seem to see motorcyclists out on the road so this the headlight being lit up grants us that extra bit of visibility I mean, not for us to see stuff, of course, because in daylight it doesn't matter. But for someone seeing us, they will catch on uh, faster, easier if our headlight is lit up. So yeah, that's why uh, motorcycles don't come with any uh, headlight off switches anymore. Uh, they do in the mall is still uh, put on aftermarket switches, but I don't bother with it. I wouldn't bother with it. I wouldn't recommend getting one because it's just useless. There's nothing you can, there's nothing to be had by uh, turning your headlight off. Now some dealers, and this was the case in uh, one of the bikes we previously owned, the Fino. It didn't have a switch, but they had wired it so that on the high beam position, the headlight is off. So yeah, I had that fixed real quick because the high beam is really important in certain situations. And that's what we're going to be talking about today how and when to use your high beam so let's talk about what the high beam does uh, i think there's another really huge misconception because i see a lot of guys always on the high beam at night so the high beam is not necessarily to brighten the beam that's not the high part the high part is regarding to the beam the beam is the actual direction the light is going in that's what the high part is referring to it's a higher beam, the higher direction the light will go to. So how it usually works is there are reflectors inside the headlight and whatever the light is. So usually the light will have like directional filaments. And so for the low beam, uh, usually uh, the filament is pointing at the top. So it reflects off the top and then get pointed down. So the beam is spread out down on the road. So that's your low beam and usually the high beam is the bottom one lighting up, reflecting off the bottom and then get getting thrown up so that you can light up everything else. And usually, yeah, you do get a bit of brightness because most high beams work by uh, lighting up the two filaments at the same time. So yeah, there is more brightness, but that's not, that is not what the high beam is for. The high beam is the beam getting higher. So what happens when the beam is higher is when you are out on the road in cities if i if this is at night right now and i have my high beam on that guy in front of me if he has mirrors set up correctly my high beam <laughs> will bounce off his mirrors and get in his eyes because his mirror will be adjusted to see what's behind him right so if this were at night and i have my high beam on i am blinding uh, the people in front of me as well as those going in the opposite direction uh on the oncoming lane because the beam will be that much higher and they, yeah, it will blind because these LED headlights today are pretty bright. I've been blinded a lot over this years and, and it's really frustrating uh, when it happens because uh, even after the light is shown in my eyes, it's gonna and that light is gonna stay burned in for a while even after the light is shown. I mean, even after I get blinded by someone passing. So you might ask, what's the purpose of the high beam then? Well, know that not everywhere is built city roads. People have to ride on all different types of terrain, all different types of roads. There are roads that haven't been developed. There are trails and stuff. So yeah, the high beam is, as a rule, the high beam is used in those types of situations. Just when you need the light. Because there are no cities anywhere in the world where you need the high beam continuously. It's all lit to some degree. It's all lit to more light that the high beam will grant you. So there's no need for the high beam to be on. 
anywhere now that being said i still do use the high beam a lot a lot when i'm riding uh, i did as i mentioned in the previous video my thumb shares another control and that is the high beam and i use it a lot every day and here's how i use the high beam uh, to communicate uh, to those in front of me uh, when i want to claim my right of way so let's say it is jam packed uh, on the oncoming and someone just decides uh, to cut uh, to cut my way on this lane and then come uh, come through here over on this lane so if they have that ample time uh, to go through on this oncoming lane uh, to pass the whatever is here if they have ample time before i get there of course they can do it that's how overtaking works on these single lane roads so yeah now i'm behind this car on this lane but that lane is open so now i can overtake that's how it works on, on these single lane roads but let's say on in that scenario uh, someone was in the oncoming lane i can't just cut them off and go that's not how it works but that's how it happens that's what most people do try and do they don't care about anyone else on the road they will just make their own way even if it means cutting people off and the people coming from that side have to give them way that's how most Maldivians ride so if that happens to me if I'm that guy coming from that and if I feel someone is cutting into my right of way I'm gonna flash the high beam to let them know that I'm not gonna give way if I feel that someone is cutting into my right of way I just flash them real quick and that will tell them and they know they know every single time they know that that means because that immediately grabs their attention and they know that means that I won't give way that along with projecting confidence projecting your dominance in the scenario will grant you that that right of way so that also works at intersections when I feel like it's my time to go I'm gonna go so I'm just gonna flash them I'm just gonna flash them real quick so it will immediately grab their attention and they'll know that I'm not gonna give way and I've, I use that all the time every day so to sum up my thumb is always in motion on the controls so I can switch between covering the horn and covering the high beam controls so to keep uh, my thumb loose and limber I usually just keep uh, yeah, pressing the signal cancel that way <laughs> uh, an added plus would be that I wouldn't be flashing my signals like an idiot having forgotten to cancel it so yeah that's what my thumb does and that's how you use your high beam so please please if you are someone who rides with your high beam on thinking that, that grants you a brighter uh, a brighter headlight please know that you are blinding everyone around you you are blinding those on the oncoming and those in front of you so stop it stop it right now keep your beams on the low except to signal to people when you want what's yours so i hope this helps thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one